Ezra, hey, congratulations for being part of this uh, film, The Boy Behind the Door. Thank you. Now, this is not your first uh, journey into the horror genre. This is your, uh, what, your, your second one? Which, which came yes. first, the gin or The Boy Behind the Door? Um, I auditioned for The Boy Behind first, but that ended up getting me the gin, so I shot the gin first. So uh, being being in something like this, sort of like a horror thriller, was it was it easier the second time around? Um, yeah, it was a little easier because you know I had gotten some prior experience. I got a little feel for it, you know. So definitely having the prior experience definitely helped me. Well, since it, since you auditioned for the boy behind the door first, what what initially attracted you that you wanted to do something like this? Um. Well, my, uh, my uh, manager sent me the audition and they were telling me, you know, that if you're down, you could try, you know, horror thriller genre, maybe because I haven't done it. I had an audition for anything like this before. So they're like, hey, you should try this out. This would be a good experience. So me and my mom, we got the script. We read it. You're like, whoa, this is going to be crazy if you get this. And um, I went and I thought, I thought the script was really cool. It seemed super interesting. And I was like, yeah, I, I totally, you know, go and film this for a movie. This is super cool. And uh, yeah, that's what attracted to me. Just the fact that it was different and it was something that I've never tried before. So how, do, how did you get into the headspace of this character, Kevin? Because for any, for any child, this is pretty terrifying thought. Yeah. So it, it was a lot of, I would take maybe two minutes before each, you know, take so I could um, get into character. I would, I would think about, you know, some sad stuff. Um, obviously, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like traumatizing or anything to think about that, but I just had to think about some sad stuff to like really get me into character fast so I wouldn't like take a lot of time. But also, we kind of cheated, and I used a little bit of eye drops here and there. But <laughs> yeah, it was. I just thought about some, you know, sad stuff. Great. Um, if you don't mind me asking, because uh, obviously um, this was long ago, and you don't look like <laughs> yourself yeah. behind the door. What at what age um, was was this uh, filmed for you? Oh, I think I think I was like. 13, 13, 12, 12 or 13. Yeah, I was, I was pretty young. Wow. At, yeah. at, tw at 12 or 13, and, you, and your parents were okay of you doing like horror thriller type, yeah. type of films? Yeah, they were like, you should just do anything you can because, you know, just being in a movie is crazy. So, yeah, they thought it would be really cool. They're super supportive. <laughs> so, Ezra, Ezra how... how how do you sleep at night after going off the set from uh, from these uh, type of productions? I gotta I gotta listen to some happy music, you know, to put me to bed at night. I'm a little shaken up after the days. <laughs> no, it was it was fine. I was. It's just you know, at the end of the day, it's just a movie. Um, even though like it's very possible that this or it does happen, like it does happen to kids all the time. They do get kidnapped, which is really sad. But I knew that hopefully I wasn't going to get kidnapped anytime, so ever. So I was fine. Great. Tell tell us about the production set. I understand this is actually filmed at a real house in yeah. what Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, the set. It was it was it was really big because I think. Because there's a lot of, in the in the trailer or sometime in the movie, there's like these oil things or whatever. And um, it was really big. Um, one of the scenes um, is set in the forest, right? Like a whole sequence. And it was huge. Like the area we had was huge. Um, it was really nice. It was like an old rickety house. It felt kind of eerie and creepy just being in there. But um, yeah, it was a cool set. It was really cool. It was a lot bigger than the gym, that's for sure. Because the gym was just in one little apartment. And this was like a whole manor, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I mean, uh, I want to say that like half your scenes all comprised into one room. Was that one room inside the house or did they have to build you a set? Yeah, that, that was in, um, I think we had, there was um, one, one was a certain room and then we kind of shot some of my scenes in like multiple locations throughout the house just to like get a bigger shot, but they were, all the scenes were set inside of the house in rooms. Did it, did it, did it help uh, to feel that isolation um, yeah. in those rooms? Yeah, it definitely helped because the space that I had was pretty small. Yeah. So it definitely helped with me feeling like constrained and like claustrophobic and all that. So that, that definitely helped. Tell, tell us about the prop they used uh, for, um, for uh, containment, uh, I guess uh, the shackles and the, and the collar mm -hmm. to be uh, used uh, as your, your, your personal prop. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the chains, um, obviously they weren't, I think the only part that was metal was the actual shackle part. And there was actually a funny part where I don't want to give too much away, but we're tugging on a chain and we would, we would accidentally pull it too hard because it was plastic and it would like come off of the hinge. So we would have to like reset it. So yeah, but the only part that was metal was the shackles and the shock collar. That was, that was very realistic. I looked at that thing and I was like, are you, are you sure you made this? Like, this looks pretty, pretty real. But um, yeah, it was, it was really cool, but it wasn't like, it wasn't uncomfortable or anything like it it was fine so so did did you have to cheat uh, through your scene through the shot collar uh, you know like the eye drops or or you you managed to pull pull that it was, it's all you yeah that's all me yeah that's all me no no eye drops no that's all me <laughs> that's that's Don't awesome get shocked. No, nothing like that well, you know what? It, it, look, it looked real to me, so yeah. that's, a, that's what it counts. That's good. How, how was it uh, acting alongside uh, Lonnie Chavez uh, um, with you through this film? Oh, he, he is a great actor. He is very, it's really easy for me to, um, you know, like feed off his energy and stuff. Like he really made it easy for me to act with him. Um, we had, we had really good chemistry for knowing each other for that short amount of time. Like we never really had a crazy amount of time to hang out before. I feel like we had, we had, oh, we had like maybe two Zoom calls to get in, get to know each other. But the first time we really like, uh, got to meet each other in person was during the chemistry reading. And we just like, we just like hit it off right away. So yeah, we were really, really uh, good friends in a short amount of time. So that was and, nice. And and how does a like energy from a co-star work um, in terms of like in a horror movie? I mean, I guess I guess you have to feed off of Lonnie, but you also have to feed off of like Kristen. You know that that horror. Yeah, movie. yeah. I think other people's like energy and stuff to me is very important because if you if you're acting with somebody like let's say Kristen, she was like uh like not very you know if you just played with like a dead like just uh type of actor like no emotion like it would be super hard to do your lines because you're putting all this emotion into it and then they're over here just like kind of monotone like but yeah it was it was really easy because they are such good actors and it was like super easy to just like feel like this is actually happening great and Ezra one more thing you got you got two horror movies under your belt as a as a child. Do you ever want to revisit that genre again? Or yeah, yeah. If somebody called me right now, like literally right now, and was like, "Hey, I want you to do this mo horror movie," I would just be like, "Yep," just right away, no questions asked. I'd do it right away. <laughs> that that that's great. I, I I have that feeling someone will be calling you soon. So Ezra. Thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about the boy behind the door and uh, congratulations. Oh, hopefully we get to do this again. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye now.